you um, are always using a masculine pronoun, he, um, is there a tradition of women who are spiritual leaders? Um, yes. Also, yes. I just noticed like if you're like a seeking being is also a male uh, masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Oh, many, so, many. I mean, what's your observation on that? There are many famous ladies who were spiritually perfected. Jupiti, she was the wife of the five Pandavas. You can read about her in the Mahabharata. She's, she had five husbands. Normally the women don't have, you know, <clears throat> more than one husband. But in Jupiter's case, Arjuna had won her through a competition. Because before, for the war warriors, they had to compete for the princesses. So the father of Jupiter had hung a fish from the ceiling and a wheel in front of the fish, and then the contestants had to look into a, the reflection of a bowl of water, a pool of water, with their arrow, and then shoot the fish. So only Arjuna was able to do this. So when he went home, he told his mother, Kunti, oh, I've, I've, I've won a wonderful prize. You won't believe it. So his mother said, well, whatever you want, you should share it equally with your brothers. He said, but mother, I've won my wife, Jupiter. But because you told me to share her, I'll share her with my four brothers, used to your Bhima, Nakula, and Sahadi. So Drupadi became the wife of all five. And uh, they had an agreement. In one month each, you know, they would have to share the bedroom with Drupadi. And they all had five sons by her. And um, there was a story I heard, I can't remember if it was in the Mahabharata, but your previous wife, it was said that she had a husband who was very sick, he had leprosy. And then, because she was the wife, she would eat whatever he left. She would serve him, he would eat. And one time when he ate, his finger fell off in the plate. And when she took his plate and removed his finger because of the leprosy, the devas, like the chief de demigods, like Shiva and Indra, they came before her and said, Oh, Drupadi, we've never seen a wife so surrender to her husband like you. So you can pray, anything you want, we'll give you. So Drupadi said, uh, in, San in Hindi, Pati, or Sanskrit, Pati Seva, Pati Seva, Pati Seva, Pati Seva, five times she said, I just want to serve my husband. So they said, well, all right, because you said it five times, your next wife will going to give you five husbands to serve. So anyway, she's famous. And recently there was a great guru in India called Janava Ma. When I was in India, there was a, uh, a shrine for Janava Ma. And we would walk around it three times every morning. She was a very powerful spiritual teacher. So it's depending on devotion. Devotion doesn't mean only can come in a male body, it can come in a field body. Any one who surrenders to God and serves Him perfectly can become Guru. And Lord Chaitanya said, um, you should become Guru. And you should liberate all your associates, your friends. So it can come on anyone, male or female. We should understand who we are, who is God, and tell others. You know, take up the chanting, take up spiritual life. Don't waste your life one minute.